Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, I wanted to show you how I caught a shiny Pokemon, a shiny Regidrago, entirely with code. Um, so I, I, I did another video on this, so I'll link that in the description. Um, but I made a little microchip. Let me see if I can get it so the camera shows it. There we go. Um, which includes a USB serial and a Pro microcontroller. And using this, I was able to connect this up to my Switch. It pretends to be a Pro controller and it presses buttons on the keyboard. Uh, and then I used a capture card to watch the video of the output and automatically detect a shiny. And I'm gonna show you how I approach that. Okay, so this is video that I recorded while I was resetting. Um, and I'm gonna show you a non-successful shiny uh, case here. And you'll notice the code is running here. It prints a little bit of output as it presses buttons and as it watches particular parts of the sequence. In this part, it has just noticed that the startup screen happens. Uh, now, the way that the code works is it looks for a particular sequence during the startup of catching this Pokemon or of, of encountering this Pokemon. And it keys in on a little teeny bit of uh, information in that there's a special delay to show the shiny animation. So right here, this is a non-shiny Pokemon. You'll see that it, you know, we get this sort of uh, encounter text here. Then you'll notice the encounter text goes away and then it comes back as, you know, the, the Pokemon that I would use is sent out. But there's a very short delay there. So normally when it's not shiny, you'll see a short delay. In this case, it was 469 milliseconds. And this is about, you know, about the value that I saw most of the time when it ran as not shiny. However, when it's shiny, there is a longer delay there. And so if we open up the shiny one here, um, there is a longer delay there. And my code recognizes that that dialogue waits for a longer time. And then it alerts me that there is a shiny Pokemon. And in fact, the way that it works is there's a, there's a buzzer chip on the board here that makes a little siren go off. Um, I actually <laughs> actually encountered the shiny Pokemon while I was out to dinner and I came back and um, the siren was blaring in my house and like, oh, there's maybe a shiny Pokemon because my code's a little buggy. So <laughs> it also sets off the alarm when there's not a shiny Pokemon. Uh, but here you can see the shot of the shiny Pokemon being encountered. Uh, you'll notice here that the dialogue pauses for now 2.357 seconds instead of, you know, the the um stop it <laughs> instead of the 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 shorter amount of time and that's how my code detects that it was a shiny pokemon and of course no uh no shiny pokemon video is complete without the actual video of the capture and so here's me catching it later in my favorite ball which is a dusk ball um but anyway this was pretty cool uh the way this method works is i just used the software set method and it took me about 50 hours of just running this, this software continually to encounter the shiny Pokemon. So uh, if that gives you an idea of how long this hunt takes in normal time, um, there, there you go. There's the Pokedex entry. But anyway, that's uh, Shiny Regidrango caught entirely with code. Um, I'll, link, I'll also link the uh, repository in the description. It has kind of build instructions if you wanted to set up one of these yourself. Uh, but anyway, hopefully this was interesting, and I will see you in the next video.